Hi, I'm Alex from Inelco Grinders. I would like to tell you about the five most common mistakes I see when people are grinding their tungsten electrodes for TIG welding. Not grinding the electrode, wrong grinding direction, poor choice of geometry, choice of grinder, cutting or breaking the tip after a dip. First off, not grinding your electrode, that's a big no-go. You need to grind your electrode, whatever the application. Some people are convinced that it's not necessary, but it is. When you buy the package, it's blunt. You need to grind it. It needs to be a, just a little bit pointy because it eases the ignition of the arc. So yes, you need to grind your electrode just a bit to ease the ignition of the arc. Second most common mistake is the direction of the grinding. You need to grind your electrode lengthwise. That means on the length of the electrode. If you grind it radially, that means perpendicular to the electrode, you will have these ripples on it and you'll have an unstable arc, a wandering arc. The third most common mistake that I see is the poor choice of geometry, not choosing the right point or blunt electrode for your application. We've already settled that we need to grind the electrode. Unfortunately, the more pointy we have an electrode, the bigger the risk of melting the tip because of less heat resistance, and then it can fall into the weld pool polluting your weld pool. A very sharp and pointy electrode means less penetration in your weld material. A more blunt tip is harder to ignite, but gives you a deeper penetration in your welding material. For aluminum, for example, some people are convinced that they do not need to grind the electrode. You need to grind it, but you can make it blunt. Grinding your electrode eases the ignition of the arc, but when welding aluminum, the electrode will melt, and we don't want this melted tungsten in our weld pool. So we have to minimize the amount of electrode that we can risk falling into the weld pool. We do that by blunting the pointy tip. The fourth most common mistake is the choice of grinder. Most shops have angle grinders, belt grinders, or bench grinders. I would choose none of these. I would go for a dedicated tungsten electrode grinder. Let me tell you why. We're dealing with tungsten. Tungsten is a heavy metal. Research has shown that tungsten combined with cobalt and nickel are carcinogenic. So you definitely don't want that in your body. Therefore, it is very important you collect all the dust so you don't get it in your body. The fifth most common mistake is breaking your tungsten after a dip. People tend to break their tungstens by applying a sharp edge either on a table and hammer it and then break it. The problem is that you might break your tungsten lengthwise, you might split it or break the entire tungsten so you can't use it. Other people choose to cut it, which is one step in the right direction if you cut it correctly. Some people choose an angle grinder to cut it. I would not use the angle grinder because then you create the dust that we talked about before. If you want to cut your tungsten, make sure you cut it in a sealed chamber and you collect all the dust. So to sum up the five most common mistakes, number one, sharpen your electrode, grind it. Number two, grind it lengthwise. Number three, choose the correct angle to your application. Making it a needle doesn't make it weld deeper. Number four, choose the right grinder. Collect the dust. Number five, don't break your tungsten. That's it for me. Take it easy, stay safe and healthy. Thanks for watching.